Hey, 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 Team HQ Sports. Happy Monday, and thanks for joining me for a little sports only trivia. I'm your host, Lauren Gambino, and man, after watching bits of the NFL Combine, I realized two things. One, I'm completely out of shape, and two, I'm really liking what I'm seeing from the future pass rushers of the game, specifically this guy. You may have heard of his brother, Joey, but I want you to take a look at Nick, who's being discussed as a lock for top three in the draft. And I think he could definitely go number one overall. Makes it exciting. So instead of going to the gym, I got to thinking, what skill challenges would there be if HQ Sports had a combine? We asked you on Twitter, at HQ Sports. We do it before every game to get warmed up. And here's what you had to say. If you didn't get a chance, tell me right now in the chat. At Andy Akiku says, obviously the bench press would be replaced by the button press. Yes, obvi, Andy. At Go Hogs Go 5 says, 12 savage questions in a row to determine your player ranking. I love that. At Sorb Photo says, explain the completed pass rule in only emojis. Ooh, I can do that. Okay. Hand raise emoji, glove emoji, ball emoji, hugging hands emoji. Well, I'll get back to this another time. And Fragile122 says, who could run the 40-yard dash fastest? Lauren Gambino or her dog? Well, the answer there is always going to be Bert, my dog. But if that means that he gets to host, well then, team, he doesn't really speak English. So that's going to be tricky for you, all right? I loved all of these answers, but... I already completed in my own challenge. It was tough, but I'm happy to say that I am officially number one in that category. You're gonna have to check it out on Twitter after this game, and hey, post your own videos taking on that particular challenge. I'd love to see it. All right, back to tonight's game. We're going 12 rounds, starting with easy sports trivia and then getting into super fan territory. Get through each round and you win. Tonight we are playing for $1,000. Oh yes, with opening day only three weeks away, use that to buy yourself a day off and a ticket to your favorite ballpark. Or hey, at least a pretzel for opening day. You know, I can't wait for mine. All right, make sure you stock up on extra lives. They will help you get back in the game when I've got you pinned on a tough round. You can earn them for free by inviting new friends to play HQ or by playing five days in a row. Or you could just pick one up right now. That's going to help you out. Now, all of you have been waiting patiently for my big announcement, and here it is. Well, the first part at least. <clears throat> Eight! It's an important number. No, not Cal Ripken Jr., not Yogi, not Troy. Eight! PM, as in the time, it's our brand new time. That's right, HQ Sports is moving to 8 p.m. Eastern time every Monday and every Wednesday. So this Wednesday, like in two days, I'll be seeing you at eight o'clock, our newest time. You're also going to want to be present, wink, wink, for part two of this announcement during round number, you guessed it, eight. <laughs> That's right. So stick around for round number eight. I got something special for you. But now, without further ado, let's get this game started, shall we? To the 144,000 players looking for a big win tonight. Let's go. Round one starts right now. A baseball player who gets a throw from the outfield and then throws home is usually called what? Monkey in the middle, in betweener, cutoff man. Spring training is underway, and it's not all about how many homers you can crank out, thank you Yankees. It's about the fundamentals, like hitting the cutoff man. Unless you have a Pugue or Hayward-like arm in the outfield, you should make sure you hit the cutoff man. A hundred thousand of you are hitting the cutoff man here early at round number one as I take you in to round number two. Which quarterback prospect in this year's NFL draft measured under six feet tall at the Combine? Kyler Murray, Drew Locke, or Dwayne Haskins? And I think after last year's pretty big quarterback pool, there was this weird amount of time spent on the Combine measurements, and it was all about seeing just how tall or small the last Heisman winner was. Well, at five foot ten and one eighth of an inch, don't forget that eighth of an inch, Kyler! 
plans on being the shortest first round quarterback in over 60 years. Kyler Murray, I mean, you couldn't turn on your TV without hearing his particular height measurements, 74,298 of you knew that one. With so much talk about Kyler Murray, I wanna know right now, and I will shout you out right before halftime, where do you think Kyler Murray is headed next year? What team do you think is going to draft him? I will shout you out right after round number five, but we are gonna move on right now with round number three. What NBA team just clinched a fifth consecutive season with at least 50 losses? New York Knicks, Detroit Pistons, or the Milwaukee Bucks? The Bucks are actually soaring this year, and the Pistons are making a late playoff push as well. But hey, at least the Knicks got that cap space, right? New York Knicks is the answer here. I am so sorry, Nick fans. I know, we were we are gonna have good news eventually. 57,708 of you knew that one. Hey, are you looking forward to the Knicks playing the Suns on Wednesday night? That'll be a good one, right? Uh, round number four. What golf major is the first to occur in each calendar year? US Open, PGA Championship, or the Masters? And we're almost there, team. You know, when the calendar turns to April, it's time for Jim Nance to start talking nonstop about those beautiful azaleas in Augusta, Georgia, as the Masters kick off major season in golf. The Masters is the answer here. 41,014 of you knew that one. You might want to dust off the green jackets in time for round number five. For decades, Bob Euchre has called games for what team? Los Angeles Dodgers, Cleveland Indians, or the Milwaukee Brewers? What team was it? Well, Euchre announces for the Cleveland Indians in the greatest baseball movie in history, Major League, but technically that is Harry Doyle. In real life, he actually does this. Luke What a call for the Milwaukee Brewers, of course, that is. 29,073 of you got that one right and are moving on. But before we do, I asked you, where do you think Kyler Murray is headed? Laura, our amazing producer, is here. She says that baseball, Knight Rider said Arizona, Mr. RDH said Chicago, and Browns are best said the Jets. Isn't that a twist? Round number six coming at ya. What players returned to Long Island last week got a hostile reception from his former fans? Kyle Oposo, Austin Matthews, or John Tavares? Don't mess with the island, right? Oh yeah, this is what happens when you do. It's your bedtime, we don't need you. You're a traitor! Islanders fans had a whole bunch of chants just like that lined up for the return of their former captain, Tavares, who left the team for the Maple Leafs last summer. John Tavares, you are so last summer. 24,154 of you knew that one as we are making our way into the second half of this game. Can you hang with me to the finish? Round number seven. In what category does LeBron James not rank in the top 10 all time? Assists, points, rebounds. Will the Lakers make the postseason? Sound off in the chat. LeBron is number five in points and he'll pass Jordan before the year is up. This week, he broke into the top 10 in assists, becoming the first player ever to go top 10 in both. LeBron hasn't quite cracked the top 50 in rebounds. Rebounds is the answer here. He hasn't done it. 19,027 of you getting that one right. All right. You've kept your attention for this long. Are you ready for the gift drop? When the chest appears on your screen, tap that button repeatedly. It's the first time we're doing this in HQ Sports. All right. You're not going to want to stop tapping until something appears. Are you ready for it? On your marks, get set, tap! Oh yeah, keep tapping. You're gonna wanna find something in there. It's the first time we're ever doing it for HQ Sports. 
and it's all about number eights. What'd you find? Were you lucky enough to find something, huh? Anyone get a soft pretzel for me? Spicy mustard on the side? I'll pick it up after this, round number eight. By definition, the player awarded the Lady Bing Trophy is known for great what? Sportsmanship, fighting ability, or leadership? Lady Bing, what is she known for? Well, the Lady Bing is named for Lady Bing Vimy, who donated the trophy when she was Vice Regal Consort of Canada. It is given to the player who is deemed to show the best sportsmanship and gentlemanly conduct. William Carlson was last year's winner. Sportsmanship! It's all about being a good sport. 16,940 of you knew that one. Listen, sportsmanship is great, but it's not going to win you this game right here, right now. I need your skill. Round number nine is coming at you. Which boxer is not participating in this maze match for three of the four middleweight belts? Daniel Jacobs, Canelo Alvarez, Gennady Golovkin. Unifying a division in boxing is almost impossible with how many belts are out there, but Alvarez and Jacobs will have three of the four middleweight belts on the line in a fight two months from now in Vegas. Triple G is still waiting for another shot. Janadi Golovkin is who we were looking for here. 11,316 of you are moving on to our final quarter. The questions are only getting tougher. Round number 10. What feat did Arkansas softball player Danielle Gibson need only four innings to complete? Eight stolen bases, 12 strikeouts, four home runs. Oh yes, last week infielder Danielle Gibson did something that hasn't even been done in the MLB. In four innings, she hit four home runs, and it was actually a home run cycle. A solo, a two run, a three run, and then a grand slam for four total home runs in four innings. Amazing, 11,352 of you knew that one. Did you know Danielle Gibson, another name twin here at HQ, writer extraordinaire, little shout out to you girl, round 11. What MLB position player just set the record for highest average yearly value in a contract? Nolan Arenado, Bryce Harper, or Manny Machado? Can you believe Kyler Murray turned down this kind of money? Mm-hmm. Harper got a baker's dozen. 13 years for $330 million with the Phillies. Man, that's a lot of money. But that puts his average annual value below Machado's 10 for $300 million. And they're both behind Arenado's new extension with the Rockies, which is 8 for 260 with a record $32.5 million per year. Am I in the wrong profession or what? Nolan Arenado is making the big bucks per year. 7,262 of you knew that money that man was making as we move on to the final round. Oh yeah, we got money on the line here. That could be going in your pocket. You've worked so hard, round after round. All you need to do is come through at the finish. Can you do it? Round number 12. Of these three nicknames, which represents the NBA player with the most career points? The Mailman, the Black Mamba, or the Stilt? Final round, it all comes down to this question. In a single game, Kobe, AKA the Black Mamba, falls just behind Wilt the Stilt Chamberlain. But when it comes to career points, the mailman, Carl Malone, tops the other two, falling just behind Kareem. The mailman delivers here at round number 12, and we have 2,319 new HQ Sports MVPs. Congratulations. <laughs> Oh yes, 2,319 winners. It looks like we are all taking home a prize of about 43 cents. And I know what you're gonna say, but it's 43 cents more than you started with 16 minutes and 27 seconds ago, just to be exact. Ryan Jacob, 
I see you there looking good. Sam J481, another one. Cleans up nice in a suit. M Joe 111 R Pirate. Sue's three NASCAR. Oh, okay. Did you play our NASCAR game? What'd you think? Shannon, I see you peeking in there from behind those blinds. And last but not least, Raw I am a B. That is the cutest little puppy. 43 cents coming at ya. What an amazing game team. You did it. Hey, do you think you have what it takes to go two for two this week? Join me on Wednesday at our new time, 8 p.m. Eastern time, every Monday and every Wednesday. You asked for the later time and we delivered. Follow us on Twitter at HQ Sports for bonus content and to keep up with our schedule and games and me at Lauren underscore Gambino. Now, I'm off to the gym and I mean it this time. Watching Nick Bosa was inspiration enough for me to make leg day every single day. I'll see you Wednesday, but until then, remember to hydrate, focus, and keep your head in the game.